It took, at minimum, 756 days, and at most, a decade, depending on who you ask, but it finally happened. The world is once again living in a true, uncontested Na'Vi era. This past weekend, ESL Pro League Season 14 came to a close, and with it, Season 3 of the Intel Grand Slam. Now, Simple took home his share of the Millie, but that's not all that happened. Zaiwu had a much needed resurgence, and Liquid, well, let's just, let's just not talk about it. I'm kidding. Let's talk about all of it. Before I start openly weeping on camera as Refresh makes his way over to Newbox, I'm going to ask that all of you beautiful Counter-Strike adoring kings and queens like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notifications. For Zywu, since I weirdly started speaking French. Okay, so on Sunday, we beheld the truly epic conclusion of ESL Pro League Season 14. And let me tell you, this event went hard. It was everything we'd hoped for and more. I was blown away. The only thing that got railed harder than my CSGO loving soul was Flom's viewership. Dimitri, uh -huh. dude. Hey, Dimitri, I will fucking ban you, bro. I swear to God. Anyway, the main reason that this tournament was so important was because of Simple, Navi, and this little thing called the Intel Grand Slam. An EPL final is always a big deal, but this one was an especially big deal for the boys in yellow. In fact, it was downright historic. For those who aren't aware, Intel's Grand Salami is a super prestigious million dollar circuit award bestowed onto the first CSGO roster to win six ESL Pro Tour Masters events in a span of 10 consecutive events, or four in a span of 10, if inclusive of a Cologne, Katowice, or Major. Now, shy of winning a Major, securing a Slam is just about the single most gangster thing one can achieve in Counter-Strike. In fact, prior to this event, only two teams had ever managed to pull it off. Astralis in 2018 and Team Liquid in 2019. Suffice it to say, going into this tournament, Na'Vi were hellbent on becoming the third. Since, well, let's be honest, they had a f***ing rough 2020. After kicking off the year with a very dominant performance at IEM Katowice, one that was supposed to initiate a Na'Vi era of sorts, COVID hit, everything went online, and Simple's roster fell off. Kinda hard. He himself even narrowly lost the HLTV number one to his greatest rival, Zaiwu, who we'll get to later. That said, pretty much as soon as 2021 rolled around, Navi went on a tear. Simple was back to being the greatest player alive, Bit, the youngin they'd brought in, was firing on all cylinders, and the roster was finally working as intended, winning Cologne 2021 and Dreamhack Masters Spring before setting their sights on Season 14 of EPL. As expected, they beat Ents and Heroic to make it all the way to the finals, where they faced off against Zaiwu and Vitality in a back-and-forth bout for the ages. Navi did end up clinching it, of course, and if you haven't seen the winning moment, you should, since it was very wholesome. Only Zywoo can deny the Intel Grand Slam. Navi, a couple of bullets is all it takes, and there it is. Their domination is secured. And I think their reaction says it all. So much hard work pumped into this one. Intel Grand Slam in the bag. So what does this mean? Well, it means that for the first time since the tail end of 1.6, Na'Vi are, incontrovertibly, the initiators of a true, uncontested era. A lot of you may not know this, but Na'Vi actually made it to the grand finals of six of the last seven majors the original Counter-Strike ever had, four of which they won consecutively. So, for Na'Vi, and die-hard fanboys such as yours truly, this win was a long time coming, but it was an even longer time coming for Simple. In addition to pretty much solidifying his spot at the top of HLTV's top 20, Simple is now the recipient of a Grand Slam, which means that CSGO's dearly beloved GOAT has now won 
pretty much everything there is to win in Counter-Strike shy of that ever-elusive major. His work is cut out for him. And he knows it. Okay, I need new haters. The old one became my fans. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, that's that's, good. there you go. Yeah, it's pretty much as easy I'm as tired that. to talk about haters. I want to talk about fans. <laughs> oh, I love let's talk my about fans. Them. I need new haters. The old ones became my fans. This man is a f***ing king. It was also great to see not only Zaiwu back in fighting form, but Vitality as a whole. Vitality's issue has always been what Navi's was a few years ago, which is that if their star fragger doesn't drag their lifeless corpse across the finish line, they'd get hosed. This time, they didn't just slam, they slammed together. So they know where you are, and he was tagged up earlier. He's calling for backup, done well to take another, and they're dropping like flies. It falls to Zaiwu with an adjustment of his own. And Shox, he peaked. Missed shot from Bit, but there goes Zaiwu. Shox has to do it all now. They're posted up on his location using the smoke for the element of surprise. And he floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee. So what else happened that's worth talking about? Well, aside from Gambit putting up yet another semi-disappointing result and OG knocking out Nip, there's, well, do we have to talk about it? We do? F All right, apologies, NACS fans, because it's time that we talk about Liquid. You see, while our Valorant brethren were off having a ball in Berlin all weekend, kicking ass and taking names, we Counter-Strike stands had to watch as NA's only team faced off against Heroic in a barn burner so ballistic, I want to scream, sigh, and cry just thinking about it. Here is the quick and dirty of it. Series starts off on Overpass, where after going down 8-1, to one, Liquid rally 11 rounds on CT to close it out 16-12. They proceed to lose a squeaker on Nuke before going to Inferno, where they find themselves down 12-3 to f***ing three at the half. Suffice it to say, it's over. GG, it happens. Unlucky. Go next. The thing is... It wasn't over. Liquid proceed to win 12 out of the next 14 rounds, executing some of the tightest, cleanest Boston major tier CT rounds I have ever seen. Elise waiting in the library smoke. He's going through. Elise mows them down. He's trying to save NA. He's trying to save the day. And Grim from Pit locks it in. Wow. 15 for Team Liquid. A misread, but the adjustment is immediate. And then right as they find themselves up 15 to 14 on match point with Heroic's mental absolutely chalked beyond repair, this happens. Find a thing, still we have fallen, making it happen, making Team Liquid be that semi-finalist refresh as good as he's been, as much as he's given us. This is a Team Liquid victory teed up. He's on for a third. Now oh. fly dead as well. Refresh. How are you making this happen? Grim, the pit hero, the guy who's dug deep throughout this entire series to save that A-bomb site, has now got to come in clutch at B. Refresh on for the ace in a one-on-five clutch. Grim, his heart's racing, his heart's beating, but Refresh can't find him. It's a guessing game. Stick on the bomb. Grim doesn't swing, he thinks it's a fake. Refresh oh! with all five, and we're going to overtime. Needless to say, Liquid could not come back from a choke like that. No one could come back from a choke like that. They lost in overtime in what has to be one of the craziest matches I've seen in, I don't know, man, ever. I don't want to think about it anymore. Is Refresh's 1v5 up there alongside the Cadian Clutch as not only a shoe in for play of the year, but one of the all-time greats? Yes. Did it haunt me as I lay in bed that night and make me want to shriek into a pillow? Yes. Now, to be clear, I am not going to sit here and take Liquid to task over a misplay that catastrophic, and nor should you. They're gods of the game. They know how badly they messed up. They don't need you to tell them. Or me. 
Suffice it to say, they played things way too safe, froze up, and allowed Refresh to take five consecutive 1v1s that he never should have had. What they should have done was execute what Smuya rightly termed the 3 2 1 swing this dude maneuver and clapped him. But they didn't. Still, that was some of the finest Counter Strike we have seen from Liquid in ages, and we should not lose sight of that over one blunder, no matter how gut wrenching. Would it have mattered had Liquid made it to semis? I mean, Considering that Heroic did actually take a map off Na'Vi, and Vitality took two maps off them? Maybe. The previous Grand Slam winners standing in the way of the prospective ones could have been a storyline. And dare I say, should have been. All in all, Season 14 of EPL? Absolute banger. I'm grateful for every moment of it. Even the rough ones. Counter-Strike is in an awesome place right now, and I, for one, cannot wait to see what it's got in store. Since, apparently, we're getting a real major, with a crowd. See you then. I need new haters. The old ones became my fans. This man is a fucking king. <laughs> That's such a like, dude. Tell me you're the LeBron James of esports without telling me you're the LeBron James of esports. Like, fucking Christ, dude. What a god. Jesus. My favorite thing about Simple is, like, how... F-wording. Like, just what a gangster he is. Like, how badass he is. And then literally 10 seconds after this, before the cast switches away, halting everything to wish his dad a happy birthday. Yeah, he's cute. He's so fucking <laughs> wholesome. I love it, dude. Oh, god, I love it.